Hey, trail over at Go Hunt. Uh, unfortunately, my favorite month of the year is over, September. I uh, got my archery elk hunts out of the way, and I'm moving into that late season rifle hunt. Uh, I am fortunate enough this year, I still have a couple of rifle deer tags in my pocket. I do like to rifle hunt, and I would suggest if you like to hunt in general, you, know, you got to be multifaceted. You got to be able to bow hunt, muzzleloader hunt, and rifle hunt to really extend your seasons. And there really are some great late season rifle uh, deer or elk hunts out there if you want to do some research and find those opportunities. Uh, today, I'm going to run you through some of my gear picks for late season hunting. A lot of being effective late season is just that ability to be out there all the time. The more time you put behind the glass, the more time you're able to stay afield, the better you're going to do. And in my case, I get cold really easy. So like I said, a lot of my gear is tailored to keep me warm in the field. So I'm just gonna jump in and run you through a list of gear that we have here in the Go Hunt gear shop that you can pick up right now that I think is paramount to being successful late season. So I'm just gonna start this and work my way across the table. Uh, first and foremost, I have a pair of Stone Glacier uh, Alpine SQ2 Gators. Uh, my pair's at home, so I borrowed these from the gear shop. Um, by far, these are my very favorite Gators. The tops of these are kind of stretchy. They mold to your calves. Uh, right there at the top of your calf, you got a buckle and cinch system, um, which is a lot better than just the simple pull through and the little clip tab. Those always come open on me and I don't like that. Uh, these stay secure. They stay up and over my calf, which is, is paramount. Uh, they also have this lower rope piece, which is uh, you know unique to Stone Glacier. It's a Kevlar material. I haven't had any of those break or wear out. Uh, you can adjust those. And overall, I just love these gators. So gators are paramount for those late season hunts. You gotta have a good set of gators. So that Alpine SQ2 Stone Glacier is my very favorite pair. Moving over to another piece of footwear. You don't have to have these, but these can definitely make your hunt that much more enjoyable. This is a pair of Outdoor Research Aerogel booties. Um, I use these primarily when I'm at camp at night. Uh, I peel off my boots. Put these on, they keep your feet really warm. The other time that I use these a lot is when I'm gonna sit on a glassing knob and I'm gonna spend maybe three or four hours just picking apart a hillside. I'll peel off my boots and I'll actually put these on. Uh, my feet get cold really easily. I think a lot of people's do. And this pair of Aerogel booties from Outdoor Research are great for keeping your feet warm. It definitely makes those long glassing sessions that much more livable. Uh, moving over to my hands, uh, I think a good pair of down mittens or a pair of good insulating mittens are really key. Uh, this is a pair of Outdoor Research Transcendent Down Mittens. We also have in the gear shop the Outdoor Research Stormbound Mittens, which is another heavy duty set of glassing mittens. Um, I just throw these in my pack. They compact really small. They don't weigh much at all. But really, again, going back to those long glassing sessions, these can make that that much more enjoyable. Um, I really highly suggest a pair of good down uh, insulation uh, mittens. Uh, moving over to a puffy jacket. You got to have a good puffy jacket. Um, this is a puffy jacket that I'm using this year. This is from Stone Glacier. This is the Stone Glacier Cirque uh, jacket. Uh, this is a synthetic piece. So it's got Prima Loft insulation, super warm. The great thing about a synthetic is that it's going to insulate even when it's wet. I don't have to worry about this thing so much as I do with like a down puffy. Uh, one thing that's really unique with the Cirque jacket is that it's got pit zips. So there's a lot of times late season hunts when it's super cold and you're going to cover some country. Um, you can overheat really easy and wet out a lot of your gear. And these pit zips really help you dump heat. So I've absolutely loved this thing. I've been using it for about a year. Uh, we have these in the Go Hunt gear shop in a couple of different colors and tons of different sizes. I would highly suggest you take a look at that if you're looking for a new puffy for late season hunts. Moving over to a piece of camping equipment that I would highly suggest, I have the X-Therm sleeping pad by uh, Thermarest. Great thing about this sleeping pad is that it's relatively lightweight for an insulated pad. So this pad has an R value of 6.9, it's really high, and it's also only one pound for the regular size. Um, this is a sleeping pad that you can use early season all the way through those late season hunts. It's gonna give you two and a half inches of thickness off the ground, and it's also going to insulate really well. Uh, I would say this paired with you know, a nice 10, 15 degree sleeping bag, your puffies, your jacket, there really isn't any storm that you couldn't weather. And uh, you know, phenomenal sleeping pad. I can't say enough good about that Thermarest X-Therm. Highly suggested. Uh, moving over and just to random pieces of gear that I think are, are good for you to have late season. Um, you always ought to have some game bags. 
Um, I just picked up a new set of game bags. I've had some luck early season, so it's time to grab some more game bags. You can wash these, which is great, so you can reuse them. Uh, but this is a pair of Caribou Muley Meat on the Bone game bags. These come in a set. You can kind of get an idea of the size there. I would suggest this for elk hunting. You can fit an elk quarter in that. They're perfect for mule deer hunting. You can fit a couple quarters in each bag. And like I said, they come in a set. Um, they breathe really, really well. They're gonna protect your meat. And uh, you know, overall, it's just a really nice set of game bags. They got a drawstring at the top. They've got some reflective uh, tabs here. So if you're gonna come back in at night and try to find those in the dark, those are handy. By far my favorite game bag. So caribou, meat on the bone. So moving over to another piece of gear that I would really recommend is a glassing pad. Uh, I would suggest this for all your hunts, but it's specifically important for a late season hunt for keeping you dry and comfortable. Uh, I found that uh, long glassing sessions are pretty much the norm for late season hunts. Uh, I actually get headaches, I'll get back aches if I'm just sitting on a rock trying to glass for a really long time. So this little glassing pad is really handy. Uh, it also comes in handy at camp, so you can like use it as a doormat for your tent. It's great when you gotta get out in the middle of the night and take a leak. Um, so I would check out this uh, glassing pad. This is made by Stealthy Hunter. So it's just a Stealthy Hunter glassing pad. You can see you got one side that's uh, green. They also have them in gray. And the other side is orange. Uh, one other use for this is if you actually kill something, you've got that rack on your back and you want to be able to safely haul that off the mountain, you can just strap that to the back of your pack. It adds another piece of orange to your back so nobody shoots you. Uh, moving over to a few more pieces a year. Uh, you can see I've got a tripod here. Uh, I would say definitely late season hunts. Glassing is the name of the game. So you should have a nice tripod set up with a nice tripod head. So for me, uh, I've got a Surrey. Uh, ST124 tripod. I've got a VA5 head on this. But the one piece I really wanted to highlight for this video is this little binocular adapter. So this is brand new for me this year. I've been using for a really long time the Leica Stabilite, which is just a base plate with a rubber band essentially that goes over the top of your binos. Uh, I subbed out this year this little Asiac Bino adapter. All it is is a little plastic or uh, 3D printed piece that goes around the barrel of your binoculars. It's got a set screw here, so you just tighten that up around the barrel of your binoculars. So one of the great things about this little Asiac Bino adapter is that it's already got an Arca Swiss compatible plate there at the bottom. You don't need to put on any extra plates to go with your tripod. Um, you just slide it on. It's got a little safety post hole already in the bottom of it. So as you slide that onto your tripod, it's gonna lock itself in place. A lot of times I don't even worry about tensioning mine back up again because it's that secure. It just slides in, the little safety post pops up and it sits right there in the bottom of that little Asiac Bino adapter. It's also super lightweight. So I've been able to cut maybe what, four, four and a half ounces for my whole setup with just that little adapter that goes over the barrel of your binoculars. Once again, I would like to reiterate, Late season hunt is all about glassing. So the elk aren't bugling, mule deer don't bugle. <laughs> a lot of the times in October, they're in that transitionary range. Those bucks are kind of staging and holding up and getting ready to move out for the rut. So the name of the game is finding those glassing points and spending as much time as you possibly can behind a good set of binoculars that are mounted on a quality tripod setup. Uh, moving over to another optic, every rifle hunter, every bow hunter, every hunter needs a rangefinder. So. We have a ton of range finders in the gear shop, um, all different price ranges. Um, I've got a range finder here from Leica. This is the Rangemaster 2400R. Just a super easy handheld range finder. Gives me accurate ranges as well as the angle compensation. Um, you know, I would never ever suggest that you leave, go into the field without a range finder. That's really key to making the shot. And then finally, I've got some new pieces for our gear shop um, that I think you ought to have for late season rifle hunts. So I've got a Go Hunt Trailblaze trucker hat. Breathes really well, nice and fluorescent. We have a bunch of different orange hats in the shop. All right, also new to us this year, we got a brand new beanie. Uh, this beanie is probably my favorite. Stretch is nice, super comfortable. So that's the Go Hunt waffle beanie. Uh, also available in a bunch of different colors, but that flow orange is great for rifle hunts. 
uh, also brand new for us. Brady was paramount, I guess, in trying to put this together for us. Uh, the Gohan Ammo Wallet. So it's just a simple wallet. I got it in blaze orange as well as another color. Uh, you hold 10 rounds here. It's got a built-in sleeve here to protect the bottom end of your bullets. It's also got a little clear plastic piece here that you can shove your tags in. Just a simple ammo wallet. I always would suggest that you have extra ammo. You never know when you're going to need it. Uh, oh yeah, one other thing I would note that comes available with all of our hats. When you buy a flow orange hat, you're going to get a little pair of earplugs. A lot of the times when you're out in the field, you don't necessarily have the time maybe to stick hearing protection in. If you do though, highly suggest it. Save your ear, your hearing. The older you get, you're gonna you're gonna value it that much more. And then finally, uh, just my very favorite blaze orange vest from Sitka. This is the Sitka ballistic vest. It's got a little padded shoulder here. You got a couple of pockets on either side for extra ammo or any kind of gear that you need. Um, it's got a great little magnetic clasp here in the front. Um, that's been my favorite. Rumor is we also have some Go Hunt orange vests that are that are coming. So that's kind of my key gear pieces for a late season hunt. Uh, if you guys have suggestions of pieces of gear that you absolutely need and use every single year, I'd love to see those. Uh, all this is available in the Go Hunt gear shop as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, I leave on Friday for my first deer hunt. Uh, and like I said, as much as I hate to see September go, I am excited for those October, November rifle deer hunts. So if you got questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to hit those. Um, appreciate you watching. <laughs>